Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another best class setup video over here on the channel. This is the third one I have done in season three. There's a lot of guns that have been nerfed and buffed, and I want to showcase the best ones to use this season. We've covered the MP5, we've covered the M4A1, two of the most popular guns in the game, and now a gun I have not used until season three. And I don't know if you can get it anymore. It was a DLC gun, by far the best DLC gun in the game. And if you haven't guessed it already, that is going to be the Growl. Hopping straight into the class setup. Here it is. I don't even have Damascus for this gun. That's how little I've used this gun to using the Optic Gaming camo. But by far, this gun is insane. I was picking it up in games towards the start of this se uh, season and going on tears with this thing. I thought, I have to try it out for myself. I've not used it once. Myself, put it on class. I picked it up in games uh, when it was uh, season two and just tried it out. But I was so obsessed uh, with the DLC weapon, the UMP 45, I forget what it's called in this game. Um, so I was too hooked on that. And I didn't bother trying this one out. I thought this would be nothing because there was such hype around the UMP. But it turns out this one is way better than UMP. Believe me, it's insane. But anyway, hopping straight in, we have the barrel, we have the ZLR Drifter A08. <clears throat> it has increased aim down sight speed, movement speed and recoil control in exchange for a decrease in damage range and bullet velocity. Makes this gun very fast, more like an SMG more than anything, which I do prefer. Um, I did try the Tempest 26.4 uh, barrel. Uh, which does change the iron sights a little bit, which I do prefer the iron sights when using that barrel, but it just sort of really didn't give me that kind of movement speed and aim down sight speed that I wanted, uh, and didn't do quite as well with that, but if you are more of a uh, slow paced player and you want to you know, get them longer range kills, definitely opt for the Tempest, um, but in my opinion the ZLR Drifter is definitely the best by far, it does beam at long range as well as you'll see in the gameplay. Um, but anyway, hopping into the stock, we have the FSS Blackjack, Increased aiming stability just to counteract the last attachment, uh, which I do believe it did decrease aiming stability. I can't even remember. I'm going to have to go back and check. And it didn't anyway, but there's something else I think that does decrease the aiming stability so that it does counteract. Um, just to be able to have that bit more accuracy at longer range, and believe me, it beams at long range. This gun is very, very good. If anything, it reminds me of the Peacekeeper. Uh, not in terms of the... Just in terms of that as like a hybrid SMG AR. Um... This is definitely that kind of gun where it's sort of got the movement speed of an SMG but handles just like an AR, which makes it a very, very, very good gun to use, very a decent, you know, can be used in pretty much every single scenario in this game. For the perk, we've got fully loaded, same as the MP5, the M4A1 and every other gun you, sh you will be using in this game. Perk has got to be fully loaded. There's been countless times where I've died off streaks just because I'm running out of ammo completely and I've having to find another gun. This, you'll have no problem, you've got so many bullets. <clears throat> You literally have no ammo in this game, which is annoying. So fully loaded, definitely it is a must. Uh, the rear grip, we've got the XRK Void 2. Increased aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Like I said, I'm a very aggressive player. I want to be able to you know, get my shot off first as quickly as possible. And like I said, the stock, which does counteract the aiming stability decrease and the recoil control, just so I can maintain the accuracy. Very, very good. Uh, in my opinion, and ammunition, 60 round mags, same as I've said in the MP5 in the M4A1 class setup, so if you have missed them, make sure you do go and check them out after this video, because they are very good, both two very good gameplays. We have the 60 round mag, just the simple fact, I like to have as many bullets in my gun as possible, because you never know when you're going to run into them big group of enemies, <coughs> you never know when you're going to run into them big group of enemies, and you want to make sure you prepare, you've got enough bullets to kill them all, um, because there's nothing worse than starting to slay enemies in a big group and you run out of bullets you have to reload and then you get killed so you can avoid this completely by opting for the 60 round mag by far got to be the must attachment and the perks is EOD, hardline and shrapnel entirely up to you the only one I would definitely go for is EOD I have the C4 and stim but I tend to alternate the uh, lethal with the C4 or the frag always opt for the stim just because it makes you uh, be able to be a little bit more aggressive get back in the fight as quick as possible it definitely is a must in this game as the health regen is very, very slow. But trust me, this gun is insane. It's my favourite weapon at the minute and I have an absolutely insane gameplay with it. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. But before we do get into the gameplay, make sure you're smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button and following me over on my Instagram and Twitter. Links for them are in the description. Make sure you follow me over there. If you have any other weapon you want me to cover, make sure you do comment that below or message me on Twitter or Instagram and I'll be sure to do that as well. If you have any other variations or changes to this uh, class setup, let me know down below as well. I'll be sure to give that a try as well if you think there's a better option. Obviously, I've not even unlocked all the attachments. This is so far 
Um, just I think anyway this will be the best class setup. Even when I have unlocked them all, I don't think I will change anything. But if there is something else you want me to try, let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. Thank you, and I'll see you in the gameplay. Okay, guys, we are on Backlot Headquarters. Probably my favourite map at the minute, uh, and this is definitely my favourite gun. I've only just started using it in the last couple of days. Uh, you can be so aggressive with it. I, I Honestly, I really love it. Oh my days, how has this kid killed me like that? This has got to be the luckiest kill of all time. <clears throat> yep, yeah, seriously, wow. I'm gonna, absolutely going to tear for that, I'm telling you. They're going to pay for killing me like that for spawn. But anyway, this gun is so, so good. I don't know how or why I didn't try it out in Season 2 when it was released. I think it was Season 2 or Season... It wasn't Season 1. Definitely don't think it was. Um, but yeah, it's such an insane gun. Kill that kid there, trying to get on a little head glitch. And I'm hoping they start to run past me like through this little hole. Or, there we go. Or over the top, trying to get to the HQ as they're spawning back there. We are contested right now. He's laid down there. Got a UAV. I mean, it would be nice just to secure some streaks straight up. There's a gun for guy here. Or is he up top? <clears throat> I think he's up top. There's a guy around, my, around to my left as well, behind the wall. Kill that kid. Kill that kid. Well, I think we're two kills away from the VTOL right now. Drop down on that guy. Oh, my days. Oh, I mean, this gun is insane. It kills so quick and... It's so versatile, like it's got insane accuracy at range, it's insane. Oh my days, that kid just got destroyed, wow. It kills so quick. I thought someone was jumping over the wall. The death, I'm two kills off this advance right now. I want to try and secure it, but I hope we can. I always choke the advance. Two kills, this is how I choke because I start panicking. Instead of just playing, because I know I'm close. But I mean, we've got an early VTOL. That's, that kid's gonna kill. We've got a merciless. Oh my days! Oh my days! We got killed by the Semtex. I wish we didn't die, but we've got the advance. We've got a VTOL straight off the bat. Drop them on them. That is an insane start. This gun is mental. I really, really do enjoy this weapon. Hopefully, we can secure some more streaks later on in the game as well. I mean, the M4A one class setup. I think we've got four VTOLs. So if you did miss that, make sure you check that out. It's insane gameplay. That is also a. Uh, Backlot headquarters. I mean, I love this map, and I love this gun. Jesus, I've been flashed. No, no, don't kill me. We've got a UAV as well, and to call it in quick. Oh my days, where are they? Oh, the adventure UAV coming in clutch. <clears throat> I love the adventure UAV. It's probably my favourite streak. I would say. Where's this kid gone? Oh, oh no, my aim is awful all over the place. Man, I literally am my worst enemy at this game. Oh my days, I've been flashed again. VTOL's going in by the sounds of things. Oh yeah. Oh, this gun's just so great. I would definitely, oh my days, they're all here. There's two, has this guy seen me? He has not, oh my days, nice little triple kill. I mean, you can be so aggressive with it, it just kills so fast. They're on the HQ though, I think. This is also a great spot. I mean, look, oh, see if I can beam some kids from over there. If they're going to peek again. Probably not now they know I'm up here. Are they in here? Oh my god, I'm weak. Oh my days. Wow. That is unlucky. I actually died off a streak on the uh, last video there. I was literally tearing it up and um, died by jumping off there off the streak. Um, super embarrassing. Oh my days, this kid's going to escape. Look all around me, I think. Oh my days, he's sniping me. Snipers are going to be the bane of my life. We've got 22 kills. And there's yet to be a point scored on the board. We need to score a HQ just to hopefully try and win this game. Because there's nothing more annoying than having a decent game. And then losing the game as well. It makes it just 10 times more annoying. And it sort of ruins the gameplay for me, uh, personally. They're going to secure this though, aren't they? Yeah, I've killed one of them off it. They've secured it. Damn. Where are they? Where are they? Oh my god, there's a kid up there. Look at the beams. Look at the beams. This gun is insane. It killed him like three bullets. It's like an SMG cross with an AR. This gun is... I think it's one of the best guns in the game. And you don't often see that from a DLC gun. I've always said with DLC guns, uh, they seem good at first because of the hype around it and then they just sort of die off and nobody uses them. But this one, oh my days, it's insane. I picked it up in a game uh, a couple of days ago. And literally shredded with it. And I was like, why have I never ever tried this gun out? And uh, I really don't know why I didn't. See, 
Oh my god, that stuck to the ladders, wow. Um, so that is annoying, but now I've got it on, it's insane. And hopefully I don't keep getting sniped. That's the that's the hope right now, because I've been sniped like three times. And that kid I killed then was a sniper. And I think there's someone sniping over there somewhere, hanging it back. Oh my god, no. Can I beam this kid? Yes, I knew there was a sniper there. Tibu. What kind of game tag is that? So annoying being sniped. I feel like I'm just going to get sniped constantly off my streaks. And it's the most annoying thing in the world. I'm just going to hang around here, see if anyone's flanking around this back alley. Possibly. Or oh, should we push out? <clears throat> I might even try and push out. But I just want to defend this HQ, just try and uh, get some points on the board. Hmm. Where is everyone? There's literally no one on my days. Kid on top of the. I don't even know what that was. Jesus. Where is everyone? I swear, HQ. It's happened in the last two HQ gameplays I've got. Wow, like he just got beamed. That's when I need to put this good on. Kills like that. I don't think I could have done that with any other weapon in this game. Hands down, don't think that would have been it possible. That quickly, anyway. Um, thankfully, I sponged his shots. So I don't know if he sniped me or not, but yeah. But HQ, there always seems to be a quiet period. Like, where is everyone? They should be rushing to the HQ. I would have thought so, trying to disable it. Instead, we've had a full hold. None of the team has died. Definitely is strange at times, HQ. I definitely prefer hardpoint, hands down. And they're all spawning here. See if I can uh, sneak behind them and get some easy kills. Jeez, they've outran me quick. See if I can kill them. Hit marker, so I know they're up here. EOD coming in clutch, saved me from... Oh, my days, is here. What? Oh my days, the second kid. Oh, there's another one. There's three. Let me stim. This is why you need stim on your class. Easy heal, aggressive, straight back at him. Easy kill. If you didn't have stim in that... If you didn't have stim there, you'd have to wait and heal and they just potentially could push you whilst you're just still weak and you're just, you're just dead. It's happened to me so many times. And from that point, well, after it's happened to me a number of times, I was like, no, stim's got to be on the class. Unless I'm going... The only time it's not on the class is if I'm going for a challenge, like stuns and flashes for the officer rank. But what's annoying is, uh, in the last uh, video, the I got a quad feed with the M4A1, it didn't even count towards my officer rank challenges. And it's so annoying because it's so hard to get a quad feed. It, it's not hard, but it, to get this right scenario where the enemies are lined up for an easy for a quad feed so nobody else gets a kill whilst you're killing four others, it's, it's super slim chance. And I'm rambling, I'm dying, but <clears throat> it's just... And when it happens, it doesn't even count. I don't know, even more annoying. It even said, oh my days, that kid's beating me so quick. Um, even when it, it just killed me so quick. Oh, I've lost my trailer for, wow. Um, it's just annoying how it didn't happen. It even popped up on the screen saying quad feed, and I don't get it. That's a nice little double kill. They're on the HQ, I think. Oh, there's no, there's a guy to my left. Oh, I don't see him hanging behind the car. That is definitely not what I like. They're going to secure this, aren't they? Oh, is it still behind the car? No. They're definitely in this building, though. 100%. There we go, there's one. There's some more. Oh, there was, but teammates managed to pick him up. Disable this super quick. It's like teammates have got it. I'm going to push out, try and uh, see if I can... Oh, they've got a sniper, let's go. See if I can, see if I can get a little snipe. See what I can do. Oh my god, I'm going to get sniped by that. This kid's going to snipe me. Hands down. I knew it. Why did I even challenge? Man. I would like to get good with a sniper though. Oh my days. Please don't kill me. Eat a C4, man. Eat another one. Oh, I did not kill him. They're in this room though. Oh no, you... Why? You mounted around the corner pre-aiming people coming in. They're the worst kind of people. Definitely the worst. But yeah, I mean, I'm also living drop zone right now as well. If you want to see a video on drop zone, let me know. Uh, I never played that before until a couple of days ago. Well, when it came out in season three, uh, I never played it since it's been a thing in Call of Duty. I think I don't even know what year it came out. It might have been Modern Warfare Three, which was years ago. I never played it. I thought it sounded the worst game mode ever. Uh, but back in Modern Warfare Three, them days, all I used to play is Team Deathmatch. I didn't like playing anything else just because I wasn't the greatest of players. But Team Deathmatch, I like Team Deathmatch, but kind of boring these days. Um, I like to be uh, a little bit more aggressive on the on the uh, objectives and pretty much get as many kills as I can, and that's what we're trying to do right now. Um, 
We have to secure this HQ though, so I'm gonna try and get in here and try and uh, get a couple of kills. Oh wow, no I'm not, we're gonna die. And we're gonna have to wait to respawn, wow. Okay, we're back. So annoying down in headquarters when you have to wait to respawn. There's literally 56 seconds left in this game, but I don't know how to, I don't, oh my days, please don't kill me up here. Oh, for God's sake, double claymore did. Wow. I don't understand how they, t oh my days, I've been sniped again. I don't understand how the timer works in headquarters because it's not counting down right now. Unless it doesn't count down when the HQ is unavailable. That might be it. Please eat a C4. Thank you. Is there anybody else up here? That was a 357 Akimbo guy as well. He's in, he's killed me the most in this game by sniper, all the 357s. Mega annoying. Here we go. Nice little double kill. Be nice to get a little more streaks before his end. I don't think we're going to be able to. As uh, time is getting on this game, I f oh wow, look at this kid. Premium in the windows. Please get out of my game. See if I can uh, take it by surprise. Okay, someone's pushing around. There we go. Oh my days, what storm I kill? I didn't even see more bullets coming in. Oh my days. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no. Where is he? Where is he? He's there. Juked him. Good night. <clears throat> 20 seconds left. So yeah, the timer must stop when uh, the HQ is unavailable. I think that's got to be the case. But, yeah, we've had a decent game. The start of this game was insane. Shame the second half of it wasn't as great. And this kid's going to get C4'd. Boom, double kill as well. We'll take that. Uh, but yeah, decent game. Can we get this kill to finish it off? No, I want to get an assist. That is a shame. 42 kills. Very decent game. This gun is absolutely insane okay guys we're back in the lobby as you can see on your screen is the class setup one last time so in case you missed it earlier here it is now take a screenshot do whatever you want to do try this out for yourself uh, it is an insane insane weapon i love it so much right now and it's the only weapon i've been using recently as well um so make sure you do go and try it out for yourself if there any other variants or variations of this weapon then let me know down below Make sure you do tell me what other guns you would like to see as well, or recommend any that like you want to see a class setup on, and I'll do my best to do what I think is the best possible class setup, and prove it in a very decent gameplay as well, uh, which I did find. This gameplay was decent, very insane star, it just shows how good this gun is, how accurate this gun can be, I mean I beamed multiple people off hedge glitches from a fair way away in this gameplay, so it is insane, but anyway guys... Uh, make sure you do hit that like button, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button as well, make sure you do follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, link is in the description for both of them. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope to catch you guys in the next one.